Hey there, Google Workspace users. My name is Carlos, and today we're going to learn how to set up an email forwarder in Google Workspace. This little trick can save you a ton of time and resolve many email business and users' needs. Before jumping to our computer, let's quickly untangle the mix-up between email forwarders and analysis, making it very simple. Imagine an email forwarder as a bridge. Emails sent to one address get automatically redirected to another. It is like forwarding your physical mail to a new address when you move house. On the flip side, an alias is like a nickname for your main email address. Send an email to any of your aliases and it lands in the same inbox. It is like having different doors all leading to the same room. By the way, if you want to learn how to configure aliases in Google Workspace, here is a video that explains how to do it. So, forwarders redirect mail from A to B while aliases are different names for your one mailbox. Simple, right? That's your quick tech bite for today. Now, let's move this conversation to our computer, or more specifically, to our Google Workspace admin panel. Within our Google account, let's click on the nine little dots in the upper right corner, and then look for the admin icon. By the way, there are two methods to create a forwarder in Google Workspace. One option, which is the one that we will see in a moment, is the forwarder that we can configure within the admin panel for any email account or user. The other option is within the user's account. Every user can configure their own forwarders within his or her settings. Now, going back to our admin panel, we need to click on Apps, Google Workspace, and then we select Gmail. On the right, we will find the section that says Default Routing. We click on it. And here we will be able to create different routing rules. On the right, we click on Configure. And here is where we start creating the forwarder for a specific email address or for all email addresses. In our example, we are going to create a forwarder for a specific email address. And here we will leave it for a single recipient. And here we will enter the email address that will forward the messages. This has to be an email address under the domain name that is within our Google Workspace subscription. In this case, we are going to type carlos at askitb.xyz. On the second part of the rule, we will scroll down and we will select the option also deliver to and then we click on add we will enter the email address where we are going to forward the messages to it is going to be a address in outlook.com see salas 2283 at outlook.com then we click on save we scroll down a little bit and we will select this option perform this action on non-recognized and recognized addresses. We select it, and then we are ready to click on Save. Our email forwarder has been set up. We are now going to test it. From a different email address, we have the account open here. We're going to compose a message. As a subject, we're going to call it test forwarder. On the content, we were just going to type test one and then we click on send. First, we're going to go to our inbox and then we find the message here, test one. Now we're going to access the email account where we are going to forward in the messages. We have the account in a different tab and we are finding our message here, test one. Now let's see the second option which is configuring the forwarder within the user's email account. We go to our Google account. Any user will be able to do this. He or she will need to click on settings on the upper right corner on the little wheel. Then click on see all settings. And then click on the forwarding and pop IMAP tab. We will find the section forwarding and then click on add forwarding address. We enter the email address where we want to forward the messages. 
For this example, we are going to select a different email address. Once we enter it here, we click on Next. Since the account where I am configuring the forwarder has two-factor authentication, I will need to verify these settings. So I need to click on Send. I receive a code on my phone. I enter it and click on Next. And to continue the process, I will need to click on Proceed. And I will get this message. At the forwarding address, a confirmation link has been sent to askitbe at gmail.com to verify permission. I click on OK. Then I need to switch to the email account where I am forwarding the messages. I have it open it here. And then I receive this email. I open it. And I need to click on this link to verify the forwarding. In this case, I just need to click on Confirm and I get confirmation success. I switch back to the account where I set up the forwarder and within Settings and Forwarding and Pop IMAP tab, I need to enable the forwarder within Forwarding and I have to select it to enable it. By the way, I have different options that I can see here. I can keep a copy of the email on my inbox, I can leave the copy as read I can archive the email and I can delete it. In this case, I'm just going to select the first option, which is keep a copy on my inbox. Then I will scroll down and I click on Save Changes. Now I'm ready to test this forwarder. I will go to a third party account. I click on Compose to write the email. Select my account. As a subject, I'm going to use Forwarder Test 3 and then click on Send. Now let's go to my Google Workspace account and I'm finding my test message here. Now let's go to the other email account where I am forwarding the email to and I got the forwarder message here as well. Well, we have seen the difference between alias and forwarder and how to configure forwarder for any user in Google Workspace. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. Stay secure, stay tech savvy.